What's goody in the hoodie, everybody? We back with another video. Mm, mm, mm. Just kidding. Anyway, what's up, everybody? We're back with another video. Today, I am going to be um, making uh, tutu socks, but they're more like anklets because they don't have the socks attached. Don't mind my hair. I just washed it and it's crazy and it don't fit the tacks. I got a big head. But anyway, we're gonna be making some tutu anklets, okay? So, um, I wanted to make, I'm supposed to be making 4th of July stuff right now, but I haven't done that. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. But just to keep it with the theme, um, there's this Wonder Woman design that I wanna make. Um, so we're gonna make some anklets to go with that. So I'm gonna use red tool. Um, this is six inch tool. Um, and then I'm gonna use the blue and the silver glitter ribbon um, to go around the anklet. And then um, I'm probably, it's not gonna be tutorial because I don't have the patience or the necessary quiet to make a tutorial. Um, so um, I'm just gonna do this little intro and then we're gonna do a time-lapse video from above. All right, see you later. supposed to be making for the July stuff and that I hadn't even begun to do it and that I probably wasn't going to but while I was sewing this my mind started doing its thing and I'm thinking of items that I can make designs whatever whatever and however whatever so I actually do have a couple of um Border designs. I think I have a couple of vinyl designs that I think I can make that'll go really, really, really cute with these. Um, the thing about me though is like when I'm doing stuff or whatever, and my mind starts going crazy, being creative or whatever you want to call it, um, I tend to stop what I'm doing to do something else. So it was like a struggle not to stop and go online and make sure that I could order the items that I needed. Uh, to make my idea come to life um, so there might be some like jumps in the video so that's why I'm time-lapsing this and talking to you guys over here um, but I I went to Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago and I you know I was just shopping I have a shopping addiction I love to shop um, especially at Hobby Lobby um, my grandma and I used to always say never go to Hobby Lobby with money you gotta go when you don't have any money to spend that way you're not buying up everything but i went there when i had some money to spend and i bought up everything so uh once i get this on i'm going to show you guys what i got um i had got it in mind of one tutu design 
but I just couldn't put it all together in my mind. Um, so that's why I haven't actually made it yet. But now that I put these together, I think, I gotta remember where I put it. Oh, it's over there. It's over there on the shelf behind the camera. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I have in mind. And then, probably because it's just an idea and I don't feel like being a comedian and completely failing on camera, I'm probably gonna make it. And then, um, I have some new fabrics and stuff coming. Um, I did get some delivered today, um, but I had to order some shirts um, from AJ Blanks. I like, I like those, they're nice and thick. Um, this is not a promotion video because I don't have any subscribers. You know, I'm just gonna post this on my Facebook and on YouTube. Um, try to maybe make it into a TikTok, a tickety talk. Um, but yeah, I like AJ Blank shirts for embroidery. Um, I tried to use them for a sublimation shirt. Um, they do work. They do work. A sublimation slash vinyl. Like I used a um, inkjet uh, printable vinyl. Uh, and I completely ruined all my 12 months. And since these are supposed to be baby size um, anklets, um, I kind of want to just do the full um, outfit in one size instead of making it a size 6 for my daughter like I normally do. Like usually I'll make a um, size 6 shirt or skirt and then... Um, a sample shirt not a real shirt but a sample um, I kind of forgot what we were talking about real quick um, anyway I have I ordered some shirts that's what we we're talking about I ordered some shirts and um, when those get here then I can show you what design I had in mind for the shirt and then um, I'll probably like display it on one of the mini mannequins back there so you guys can see what I had in mind and hopefully other people like it hopefully it's a good seller because I just went and bought 200 yards of ribbon to make more but this is what it looks like um, I do have to sew it up um, I cut I cut the elastic an inch bigger than it was supposed to be because since it's so small, like look at this. Where's the camera hole? It's so small that sewing, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do the hand sewing. I don't, I don't want to do that. But um, sewing it on the machine is kind of difficult. So I like to cut it an inch bigger. That way I can cut off the excess, um, and I can stretch it a little bit better. So there's this one. This one, and put it, and put it on my arm like a scrunchie, um, so you can see it. That's a little stretched out, but we'll do that. Um, let's do this one. Um, I didn't cut all the threads off, so I got to do that. Hopefully, the audio is okay on here. Um, I do have a microphone, but I don't feel like getting it. Um, I just don't trash cans on that side. I was going to put it on the floor. Um, but let me grab the, um, I was going to show you. And I had went to Hobby Lobby, right? I had went because I was trying to decide what I was going to do for my daughter's birthday. My daughter's birthday was uh, early May. And every birthday is the same day every year. But I couldn't figure out what kind of theme that I wanted. Um, so I went to Hobby Lobby, I was browsing. Um, ultimately, she loves mermaids. So originally, I was going to make her a mermaid skirt, but I had got this to kind of see uh, if I liked it or not. And, you know, she's not really, she's not really big into like Tutu, she hates Tutu. So Tutu was out. Couldn't figure out what I was going to get her, but I ended up making her um, these. Um, 
Well, here's the finished one. Little mermaid shoes. Her initial on it. Um, I ordered her a shirt from two two of my favorite. Well, not two anymore, but favorite YouTubers. One of my favorite YouTubers. It came on time. The other one, I was kind of disappointed, especially with the service that I received. So, but I mean, it is what it is. You can't expect, you can't set your expectations too high in this day and age. But anyway, back to my story. I went to Happy Lives, was looking for stuff for her. Her birthday party theme so i was browsing the like remnant section i was looking for just cheap fabric samples um couldn't find anything but i found these a full bolt of sequins found this pink one and the best part is these are normally 4.99 a yard i got this whole thing for 12 dollars Whole thing okay do my i didn't know what i was gonna do with this i well i kind of did i was actually okay so the other thing that i was looking for is um a friend of mine i went to high school with it was her daughter's birthday and she wanted um her daughters into fire truck stuff and so i was looking for some things to make a really cute fire truck outfit of course they didn't have what i was looking for so you know it was i was kind of upset so, when I found the pink one, I also found this one. Now, this one is $4.29 a yard. I got it for $10. I got it for $10. This whole thing. And this thing has, I mean, it's 10 yards. So, 40, 40 plus dollars for this whole, like, if I were to buy it. This whole thing, $10, heck yeah. So, tell me this wasn't like the perfect, 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 perfect. So, I'm going to have a really good idea for these. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to show you what it's going to be. Um, I would laugh if I never push the record button and I'm just over here talking to myself. That is something that I totally would do. But um, yeah, I have a really good idea for that. I can't wait. I think after I'm done with these, I think I might actually go ahead and try to make that. Um, probably later this evening because y'all don't know, I live in the desert and it is hot as heck. It is hotter, hotter than a jalapeno's booty out here. It's hot in this living room, even though the AC is like struggling, it's struggling. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to show you. I'm super excited about it. Um, the funny part is like, I've been wanting, I've been telling myself, you need to make, uh, the tutu socks. You need to make, I don't, I don't want to do the tutu socks because there's a lot more steps that are involved. I'd rather just do this. You can put them on your kid. Your kid don't want them on. You can take them off. You're not wasting socks. Um, you don't have to worry about, oh, I can't, how am I going to wash the socks? My kid did this. There's no socks. You just take these bad boys off and put them on when you want to. If you don't want them for the event, you want them for pictures, bam, put them on, take them off, and good to go. Um, so I like this better. And plus, I'm not like top-notch sewer. Like, I literally learned how to sew. I think I was in middle school. I took, remember back in the, not, not, I'm not that old, okay? But back in middle school, when we had home ex, you sew, you cook. You do whatever um that's the first time i sewed i made this star fuzzy pillow um i had it one day and then the next day it was gone and then i never sewed again until maybe i want to say 2014 um one of my really good friends uh he made me these blankets or me and my kids blankets um one when my middle child was born and then like for christmas you know and i love blankets i have like a gazillion blankets even though i live in the desert but anyway um story time anyway no i'm just kidding um i don't know what we were talking about oh sewing so uh um 
my grandmothers, both of my grandmothers, my late grandmothers, they both used to sew a lot, okay? And so, like, I always used to ask them, like, Grandma, teach me how to sew. Grandma, teach me how to sew. Um, but as a person with ADHD, like, you know, you start teaching me, uh, the lesson wasn't going fast enough, and I would lose, um, I lose my attention span. Like, yeah, I would be onto something else, or I'd want to push the pedal really, really fast and go, Vroom! you know? You can't do that because you can lose some fingers. You can sew your stuff the wrong way. I mean, you should have saw my first driving lesson. Anyway, um, so yeah, they used to sew. And so, like, you know, I was really interested in it, but I just never did it because, you know, it's not a fast-paced hobby, you know. Uh, it takes time, and time for me goes like this. Like, it's kind of why I'm an introvert and I don't really go out anymore because... It takes a lot of time to get ready, especially when you have kids, especially when, you guys see that? Floating by? Especially when all your kids are girls and you all have to get ready. Um, it's time consuming. See, here comes one of my kids now. Yes, Poo Poo. Hi. I needed to, you know, pick up a hobby. So I was like, hey, you know, you're good at sewing. You make us blankets. You make us all this kind of stuff. Um, teach me how to sew. So. He taught me how to make my first pillow. Um, then I like thought that I was like a pro sewer, so I started busting, buying up patterns. I had I used to have a whole uh, tote, like a big storage tote, full of patterns because I thought that I was like the best sewer. Um, I didn't know nothing about buying fabric. I went and bought like expensive fabric. Uh, thinking that I needed yards and yards and yards and really for like most big basic, basic patterns you need maybe maybe one and a half yards but I'm like oh no I need 10 yards of this organza silk blah 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 and then I was shook when like my total came up to like over a hundred dollars for some fabric and I'm like mm. so yeah I have a mini projects that I started years ago that I never finished and after that like maybe like for six mm, not even six months maybe like six days six weeks I stopped sewing I never opened up my sewing machine so I want to say I moved here I moved to Nevada in 2016 so I want to say from like maybe 2015 um, until about 2019 2020 I don't know 2019 I want to say when I started my whole craft creations and stuff I don't need um journey I never picked up my sewing machine again I never did anything like I mean I did hand sew some stuff when I was like really into making Barbie my life as a Barbie series with my kids um, which, I mean, we filmed some episodes, but I never posted them on our Facebook, um, or our YouTube channel or whatever. Um, so yeah, so four years, I guess you want to say, I never started crafting. Where the heck am I going with this story? Where am I going with this story? I don't know. This is why I'm not going to be doing too many tutorials, because I will be off the walls talking about stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway uh yeah sewing so i don't know maybe i'll have to cut the video and go back and see what the hell i was talking about and then i can come back and finish telling you the story um oh yeah i'm not i'm not a pro sewer i'm not a pro sewer um so yeah oh. this is easy this is straight lines straight lines i don't do um I, I bought a few patterns off of, oh shoot, about, uh, I bought a few patterns off of Etsy, and I'll be mad when it goes into details about stuff I have no idea what they're talking about, um, like, I don't know what a double stitch is, I don't know how you do a double stitch, I, like, ever since I started trying to make clothes for my, um, my three-year-old, um, I've been, I've been looking at like the clothes that we buy from the store trying to figure out like how they get this pocket on here how they make this collar like is what did they use a serger like how do they tuck the threads in serger so yeah so I mean my 
hobby has kind of grown a lot. I still don't know what the heck I was talking about. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to go sew these really quick and then um, I'll take a look and see what the heck I was talking about. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't know.